fairly simple here. Firefighters are like most of us here today. We're not scientists, but we listen to the people that know the facts, and that's the scientists. They know the facts on climate change. They've studied it. It's their job. So our question is this. Why are we listening to the politicians on climate change? They are not the experts on the issue. They are the people who should be preparing us for it. It's very clear there's a link between climate change and the increase in severity and frequency of extreme weather events. Firefighters do not doubt the effects of climate change. There are no sceptics at the end of the fire hose, let me tell you that. And let me just give you an example of what can work when you bring the scientists together with government. Many years ago, doctors told us to stop smoking because it's going to kill us. They were the scientists. They were the experts. They said stop smoking. The government, it was their job to prepare us. And they did it well. In the last 10 years, the government had prepared us. They've told us the dangers of smoking. They've done everything they could to prevent us from smoking. That's the example we see where the two work together and that's what should be happening now. Firefighters don't pay to be climate change experts or scientists, but our experiences clearly show that fire seasons are longer and more extreme temperatures are resulting in more intense fires and flooding. This increase in extreme weather conditions will call for an increase in the number of firefighters required. We need to prepare for the future and the increase in these events due to climate change. The Australian Senate Committee had a report into recent trends and preparedness for extreme weather events. Now that's the government's report. And what did it show? It showed for a, a substantial increase in operational firefighters to address the impact on extreme weather events. It says, their report says, we will need a 36% increase in firefighters by 2020. What's that? Six years away. Six years and six weeks away. We're going to need 36% increase. Their report says that. In South Australia, 190. Now is the time to prepare. This government has to facilitate the growth, the training, the recruitment. They need to prepare us for the future. What else does the Senate inquiry say? Well, the Senate inquiry says the number of days over 35 degrees will increase by 2030. We know this. Firefighters and other emergency service personnel are being exposed to unprecedented and likely worsening levels of physical, psychological and stress and danger. That's what their report says. We need to protect the firefighters and emergency service workers that are protecting you. In 2013, January and February, we saw extreme heat waves. We saw large scale bushfires in New South Wales, Victoria and Tasmania. Heading into the summer of 2014, we've already seen these bushfires in New South Wales. It's, it's happening. It's here. It's on our doorstep. Our government's response to climate change action has been to abolish the Climate Change Commission. We need the government to work with the scientists and the climate change experts so they understand the dangers and effects on our climate. And just finally, we need to be prepared. That's our message. As firefighters, we need to be prepared for what these extreme weather conditions will bring. And importantly, as a state and a nation, we need to be prepared to act on climate change and try to reduce the effects. We don't need to understand it completely. 